Okay, uh, good afternoon again, or good evening, uh, good morning, depending on where you are uh, joining us from. I want to do a brief uh, video of the chapter one of Introduction to Personal Computer. So, uh, you have about 66 slides, so I will just touch most of the very uh, critical aspects. I will go through most of the ones that are very self explanatory. In the course of the 90 days, uh, I'm going to be doing quite some explanation, some hands-on, some labs for most of the concepts you have in the information technology essentials, which is the IT. This is to give you some good background of knowledge, of skill set for prepare you for cyber security. Now, the thing is that anybody that is a cyber security, cyber security expert should have a very good knowledge in IT. That's to say, that cyber security is a layer on top of every other layer in IT, in tech. So if you say you're a cyber security expert, that means that you understand hardware, you understand networking, you understand email servers, you understand cloud servers, cloud technologies, you understand web programming, uh, you understand um, uh, mobile, you understand access control, you have very good understanding of most of the aspects when it comes to IT. Why? Cyber security is a layer on top of every other layer when it comes to IT, when it comes to tech. So it's a layer on top of every other layer. Are we together? So you you have you need to get some kind of uh, good background information so that because anything you do when it comes to security is you, you're going to explain it through uh, it's going to be linked to any of the domains any of the it domains so because of that then that is why uh you need very good understanding of some of these concepts okay decision to personal computer so it starts actually this is my instructor slides i'm not supposed to give this to you uh, i'm supposed to just restrict you to the lms where you do your readings, uh, you come back to the WhatsApp group to ask questions if you need to ask questions. Uh, then I do some brief once in a while throughout the 90 days. It's a very uh, uh, comprehensive course content. It's not something you could rush through just in like five days or you rush through in 10 days or 20 days. No, you have about 90 days to go through all of this, your content and write your exam. So I will decide when the exams are going to be written right so i just need everybody to be comfortable everybody to get to understand the course flow the course content how to navigate how to uh, 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 learn yourself how to ask questions how to understand the importance of what we're trying to do that's what i'm trying to achieve for these three days which is going to end today i'm also going to continue up until monday so after that you have good access to the elements so you have to do your study come back to the group ask your question we we'll dedicate a separate room for just ite so if there's any questions you have you have you ask so i intentionally gave you my lms rather i also intentionally gave you this the slides so it can help you so if you check these slides these slides are for the instructor right so you have planning guide so and all of these so the class actually starts from here from 12 right from slide 12 uh, so what's the goal you should be able to understand electrostatic uh, safety components of a computer uh, how to keep your computer safe very very basic IT uh, things you need it right because you cannot do cyber security with most of these things okay so personal computer so you see this is uh, an excerpt coming from the LMS this is an excerpt coming from the LMS so everything you have here is just an abridged version of what you have in your LMS so you have to use your LMS to have better understanding so what I have here in my instructor slide are just summaries so you see this video you have it in your LMS what is a computer is so that a five minutes video that explains the different components of a computer the input devices like your keyboard the output devices, all the things that's going to help you to view your display, your speaker, then of course the internet component where somebody was asking yesterday about the North Bridge, the South Bridge, your CPU, your RAM, and the rest of it. Okay, electrical safety. So if we are to work with computers, so we need to be very, very cautious, right? You 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 still have desktop computers around, right? So that's why, and they have power packs. So the components from your laptop don't come with so much voltage. Why? most laptops are just uh, 
85 watt even have a newer systems these days that come with just 35 40 watt the adapter right so since the adapter comes with a very low watt so and uh, the entire system is not going to be using more than uh, 35 40 watt but for desktop computers you see these power packs that's what you have inside the computer you only see this outside so you can plug your power cable here most of these power packs come in between 300 to about 1000 watts because the supply different cables supply the motherboard su supply the uh uh yes the motherboard supply the hard disk the hard disk needs power to spin the dvd rom the floppy and several other components all of these cables are meant to connect them right so you should follow electrical safety guidelines to prevent electric fires injuries and fatalities so electrostatic discharge so if you have two surfaces together now there's a quiz on the platform that tells you about which it's going to uh, help esd build up is 3000 volts so if you go through your materials you're able to take those quizzes all your components should be in an antistatic bag so what's an antistatic bag if you buy a new hard disk right there's a shiny bluish kind of bag your hard disk is wrapped in that's an antistatic bag if you have it in a bigger format then most of your components like your ram because they can easily get shocked right they can you the potential difference the voltage between your palms and your surfaces and those components is quite large so just a little thing can damage them grounded mat somebody was asking that it's not used to grounded mats and the rest yes these mats are just an extension of what the functions that your antistatic bags looks like they are not so common then of course use grounded floor mats in your work areas it's just like yesterday in the house i was trying to do some electrical stuff uh i had to make sure that i was with my flip-flops right my or so what some people call slippers or a shoe is to make sure that because your the tile will be able to have enough static energy compared to the surface you are touching then of course antistatic wrist trap right if you don't have this antistatic wrist trap what you do when you're working on a computer is to before you start working on the desk especially for desktop computers is to do what place your hand on the earth right the earth is the ions you have around the computer right so that that, that ion or that metal or that aluminum is of the same electricity voltage with this component so once you keep your hands normally you just touch 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 hold it hold it hold it once you do that after a minute or so you are at the same voltage at, at the same static charge as those components so when you touch the ram touch the hard disk or whatever you don't get to in quote shock them right so if you uh, that's that's a way to go around instead of using an as a tactic uh, wrist strap if you go to jumia if you go to amazon alibaba dhgate aliexpress ebay you can see what an a static wrist strap looks like and you can purchase it so i've just told you what to do in case you don't have one i need to work on a pc so you have different types of cases your tower your horizontal your full uh, case tower your uh, compact then all you want is most 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 common right right is more common now so these two types are most common and i think this this is kind of getting very very old is people don't use this again so technology and as a um server security expert uh, that's the reason why you're doing some of these things you you most of the tax you're going to be doing are going to overache into hardware are going to overache into network are going to overache into web are going to overache into cloud are going to overache into mobile so that's why you should be able to understand these things and even what it used to be back in the days because some people still use all of these gadgets so power supplies you see this power pack come in different shapes different sizes you have the 80 80 x 80 x 12 volts then it eps uh 12 v now back back 10 15 20 years ago they look bigger they are in 450 watts larger but just like everything you have, just like your new television, I'm, I was surprised that my TV is just 35 watts, right? Now, 
you see older tvs are going to have higher wattage in terms of consumption same size but you see things are not done in such a way that they they maximize power or rather they are more energy efficient so the older packs are going to have uh, what was it called like the 80 the 80x so most newer systems you see their power pack very very slim very very tiny right just to be energy efficient because these days when i use uh, green energy solar inverter uh, wind energy so nobody wants to be running a very huge transformer or a huge uh, uh gen in just power few systems people are going to be running more of more of uh uh, inverters and the rest so they want to be energy efficient that's why if you go to some it labs and it centers they no longer use desktop they use laptops why each of those laptops are not more than uh 15 watts in all the power pack 20 watts i saw some in a cbt center i can tell you less than 20 25 watts is the adapters most of those laptops were using compared if you were using a 450 watt desktop right so that's about power supply so connectors you have different connectors within your system i would love you depending on where you are uh, learning this from that you should get to any of the computer villages and get a scrap an old system right open it up and see some of these things it's very fun uh, you have your 20 pin or 24 pin so this is the 20 pin right if you count this i think you get 20 then you have for some form factors that are up to 24 right then you see this four four pin this four is for your hard disk four is for your cd rom uh four is for your some sections of your pc also need some of these right so this is for your this also goes to the motherboard this part goes to your motherboard this part i think goes to your floppy right so these are the connectors that come from your power pack so this comes from your power pack that is this guy here it comes from the power pack and goes to the different components just to supply power because your 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 what's it called your pc needs power okay uh so that's that so you have your motherboard uh yesterday we talked about the north bridge and the south bridge you have your cpu that is this guy here your cpu socket so it's open already so it does it's, it doesn't it doesn't stay this way you normally have a fan on top of it right then uh so that it does cooling and if you watch very well it's going to face this side so this guy this heat sink is going to draw all of the uh, heat that's coming from here and takes it outside so you have your expansion slot what do you call an expansion slot oh i have usb on board internal usb on board look at this usb on board if i have it and it so happens that it gets bad i just go get a pci slot i slot it into this place it's going to come out from this aspect of the system and i have extension so that's why you call them expansion or extension slot of course you have your ram slot if you have i told some of us that if you don't have up to 80 gram please make sure that you upgrade all you just need to do is to get a ram stick get exact same size your pc use and you slot it in it doesn't take you two minutes you upgrade that particular system so this is the motherboard she said we talked about this yesterday the north bridge and the south bridge and what it do now we talk about form factor form factor has to do with size what size is our is our hard disk or rather our motherboard working on so you have the different sizes atx micro mini i thought that's why you have different system sizes so if you have the sizes that's how you're going to have the form factor cpu yes that's the brain guy that's the guy that does uh, the, the work of your pc that's the microchip now cooling system i talked about heating sink a while ago so if you have your your around your motherboard mother systems are going to perform heavy duty work high processor speed high ram they have more than one heat sink around they have more than two three fans just around the areas and you can also add fans to your especially for your desktops right so that you make sure that because all of those components they need some type of uh, working temperature to work with so that uh, uh they work properly so you have different types of from read only memory you have your rom chip your prom your eprom your eprom chip so that's how it looks like the the help in uh, uh that's the workspace of your computer then you have types of ram also right so the older rams are your dram the static ram like that so this is much more recent so if you are going to upgrade your system not all rams will go for all systems right okay i think i'm going to pause here i don't want to make the videos a little bit long i think i've gone halfway 
I'll do maybe another 10 minutes to go halfway and I should be done with model one. 